So I want to thank all of you who might be in the room who served on the support task force in helping us point our way toward this direction. So there are some great examples of your work that I wanted to just say thank you for. Uh, as of this week, we have some new agreements in place with Nanjing University, Jiangsu University, helping us to gain more strategic partners again with China. Very, very, very grateful for that. Uh, BC Buo is now part of the Peace Corps prep program, giving more of our students a chance now to make a difference throughout the world. We've launched the Generation Study Abroad, which has helped more BCU students invest in their future as global citizens, something that's absolutely positively critical. Do you all remember the Senate, U.S. Senate's resolution about maybe seven years ago? Shocked us all because only 1% of our students were studying abroad and they saw that as so fundamentally important. Well, if you got elected to, got the opportunity to be elected to the U.S. Senate, then you might get a chance to get around the world and understand some of our issues, whether they're in the context of national security, world health, or whatever else, right? But you get around if you're a senator, why are they saying this? They're saying this because it could be a critical issue for us. It is a critical issue for us. We need, as Americans, to be more connected with the world, especially based on who we are as America, right? America is supposed to be the place where you can be the most successful that human beings can be. That won't happen if we create insulation around ourselves and don't connect ourselves with the rest of the world. Our English language program is, is, is now among fewer than 250 universities around the world, fully accredited by the Commission on English Language Accreditation, which is not easy, by the way. And uh, more international students, fortunately, are choosing BCU. Not enough, in my opinion, just to be clear. Um, and our conversation partner program, the Friendship Family Program, two great initiatives that are making such a big deal in terms of making certain that when we invite, when we say, when your president says we want more international students to come to BCU to come to Richmond, we all have an obligation working together to be sure that people who bring those differences from which we can learn are comfortable, find a place, are embraced, and know that we want them to be here, we want to learn from them, we do not expect them to come here and just do everything our way and that we will include them in all of our conversations. These are the right things to do no matter where you are in the world. Right? So those are just a few examples. I'm sorry to be so passionate, but I hope you share some of my passion because I need every one of you to help me with this. Um, one of the few things I have is this. Um, the opportunity to speak, and I sure hope that I have revved your engines and have earned your support to take BCU to the next level as a global institution in the world.